Being in Japan, of course, I had to try matcha. But admittedly, I know nothing about matcha aside from the fact that it's a green tea. So I decided to take a tour on a matcha tea farm. My guide today is Daiki. This wazuka has more than 800 years old production history. Wow! So actually, some tea farmers more than 10th generation. There's not a big company, it's almost all the family oriented. So mm -hmm. there are more than 310 tea farm families are running each tea field. Wow! We are producing over 45% of Uji green tea, which is a region. Okay. And the most famous premium brand of Japanese green tea. This was the biggest production site for that premium. The timing of the harvest. Mm, mm. So like April and May, mostly using for a uh, ceremonial tea ceremony, which is the uh, most expensive one. Oh. Our income is around 70% around of our income is from the harvest. The second one is in dry and uh, uh, mostly dry. Which is for latte or confectionaries. Oh. Now it's like more a uh, the, the most low grade oh, like for, I see, I see. not for our products. It's for a uh, bottled tea of the uh, big companies or like ice cream or for a uh, Hagen Dutch or or mass production. We only use the top one on the top. Oh, like the baby. Baby. Mm -hmm. like this one. The first thing I learned is that matcha goes through a shade growing process, which means before harvest time it is covered completely in the dark. This is meant to improve the texture and the taste of the tea. So when do you cover it with the cover well, just before the harvest? Just before harvest, so okay. Like, um, there's a distinction like in case of the matcha, yeah. we need to shade by the black fabric for more than twenty days. Okay. Mm. That uh, after the young one is eaten, we cover it. We wait oh. for more than 20 days. Um, the geographic characteristics of Azuka is very suitable for tea production. Okay. One is about the soil. Mm. More than 1,000 thousand years ago, this area was under the lake. Oh. The soil has a lot of mineral. Oh, okay. That's good for nicer tea. And because of this mountain, Bari and river, this landscape, it's a lot of fog. Lots of what? Fog. Oh, foggy. Okay. Yeah. Fog is a kind of natural part that cut this out amount of the sun. Oh. It helps to create the sweeter taste of the tea. Okay. Does it make a difference in the taste? How it's eh, to ne, uh, ma If every other condition is the same, yes, of course, um, hand pick is a bit better. Mm. But like, um, if you do uh, without any fertilizers, and choose a not good location and yeah. hand pick it, taste is not so good. If, you, if we do this section, this whole section, okay. Uh, by, by machine, it takes around seven hours. Seven hours? By four wow. people. But if you do it by hand, uh. times 80. So that meaning is oh my. 506 hours, like 60 hours. Wow! With these four people. It's such a difference. Eight, uh, more, more people say like 80 times. So eight, eight, eight. That is incredible. Daiki is probably one of the youngest mass matcha production tea farmers of Japan and he is incredibly entrepreneurial and has big dreams. Here is his story. It's so sweet. So it's brewed with ice water? Mm. Okay. Just before our debris, I put the leaves here. Mm. So did you know you wanted to be a tea farmer when you were younger? Uh, no. no? <laughs> and then what made you change uh, your mind? Yeah, but uh, so I originally from Tokyo, right. uh, but I studied agriculture in Kyoto University. Right. Uh, at first, I worked for a management of consulting firm in Tokyo, okay. and hired by investment fund and became a CEO of a donut chain. Donut chain? Uh, donut chain uh, how yeah. does that? Okay. <laughs> at that time, I need to eat at least three donuts a day. Oh my god. <laughs> to check the quality. What a chore, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to do more healthy stuff. Ah. Uh, around five years ago, tea made up mine because right. uh, it's healthy and also uh, very related with our culture. Right. Uh, very right. good for uh, cultivating in our country. What's your goal for the farm? I'm thinking 
Wow. The tea is really、mm, similar to the wine. Yeah. But not so structured well.、Mm. So, for example, like、uh, over 99% of Japanese know Uji green tea. Really? But、um, actually, the, the name of the Uji is because、um, all wholesalers are located in Uji. Once they、oh. purchase a tea and once they blend the tea, that becomes into the Uji green tea. I see. So, almost no one knows what's the top. Right, even though it's all from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like,、uh, we want. To make this region as a like gold or champagne.、Mm, that's yeah. The, that's the one goal. The second goal is like a, like, to make one of the good examples for、mm. the aging society.、Mm. I'm thinking, and, but now we can hire people, but like, even like we hire people, my staff don't want to live here. Right. I mostly live in the city side. So、really? I, want, I want to make more educational, those kind of stuff. Yeah, which, like a school of yes, sorts. Yeah,、so mm. which can also attract the people. Why? But like here, my, in Japan, we are facing the aging society. So that meaning is countryside, like here,、yeah. facing more, more aging society. Right. So actually, Over 48% of people in Mazuka、right. is over 65. Really? Yeah. You're probably one of the youngest. Ah,、uh, One of the youngest. <laughs> Truly young, one of the youngest T f a r m Wow. And, and so, average age of T f a r m s here is also 65. So, but most of our T f a r m s succeeded from really elder farmers, like 83 or 85. Oh my god. But we want to, now I'm really thinking how we pass on this kind of、yeah. nice、history and culture to、yeah. that next generation,、right. like, including our generation. Right, like get the younger generation more yeah, interested. Yes, yes, yes. Otherwise, it's like the, the tea fields are ruined, I mean, abundant.、So、yeah, I don't yeah. want to see that.、So. After we go back to the cafe, we、yeah. are making the tempura of the leaves. What? So cool. The, you will eat exactly what you cook, so please pick、mm. a nice one. Okay, got it. This big one is edible but not so tasty,、mm. so please pick this young one. Ah, okay. Are there any picking techniques? Yeah, just hold it and、yeah. snap it. Snap it? Okay, so don't use my nails. Ah, so,、mm, don't,、uh, do not use nails. Okay, I see. Thank you. You need around 15. 15, got it. I've never even heard of tea tempuras, but apparently it's really popular on matcha factories. <laughs> Let's see how they taste after. You can, today you can enjoy its characteristic senja. It is Yabukita. Yabukika? It smells like seaweed. <laughs> It's cool. Okumidori. Okumidori. Yes, okay. And then it's goko. Goko? What's the difference? So, the difference is the most as a very different. Covered with a black seed and non covered.、Mm. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Non covered.、Mm. Oh. Yeah, open very goko, covering with black seed. Okay. Yeah, it means get into amino acid、uh, into a lot of leaves. Okay, so this so, one is more bitter then? So, yeah,、uh, that's right.、Yeah. What about the middle one? The middle one also covering the s e e And it is 12 days. 12 days. And、okay. then it's 14 days. Okay. Yeah. And the okumidori is a very good balance. Yes, in Japan. It's actually very interesting. Different, so please enjoy. Thank you so much.、Mm. Oh, yeah, you're right. It does look a little different.、Mm. It was really surprising how much umami this matcha tasted.、Oh, that looks so pretty. Thank you so much. These cute little tempura leaves are sweet, crispy, and almost meaty tasting.、Mm? There are three matcha. Okay. There is samidori,、okay. okumidori,、okay. and goko. Okay. Yeah. And、uh, I will show you how to make matcha、uh. paste and I'll make、uh, samidori. Okay. And after that, please make it. Got it. Got it. 
And there is a special soil. It's called chasen in Japan. Chasen? Chasen. Okay. The special soil when we make matcha. Yeah. And to make a milky form. Ah. Uh, okay. the, it's actually the matcha. Uh, we use a special leaves. It's called tencha. Okay. Yeah, only tencha we can make. And there is a hot water over 80 degrees C. Mm. And of course, a little bit hot water. And I'll make matcha paste. Okay. Always go this way, back and forth. Okay, back and forth. Not in the circle. Not in the circle, okay. And just use your wrist, your hand, like that. And slow down. And last circle. I heard from somewhere you can actually get drunk on tea. After having six cups back to back, I did indeed feel a little tipsy. An unexpected surprise was this matcha pasta, which was absolutely delicious. Thank you, Daiki, for this incredibly eye-opening experience.